In demo 3, we're going to look at just simply text cell formatting. So I'm in A1, where my title is. I'm going to apply boldface and italics. I'm going to change its color. And let's change its size to something a little larger, say 20. Now, Format Painter works just as well here as it did in Word. Notice I have to be where the format is. So if I went over here to B1 thinking that I'll just copy that format, nothing's there. Remember, this is an overlap. So I've already changed my column width, so I don't want to do it again, or I'd be way out here beyond this K of gradebook. So I'm happy with the column width as it is. But I'm going to format Painter. I'm going to use Format Painter to change Fall 2001 to the same format as we have here in A1. So I click on the Format Painter, apply that to A3 and it automatically applies. Again we can click and drag to select cells or we can shift and our arrow keys or I can use my name box A6 to A11 it really doesn't matter. So once again I will create a bold and italics for this one. I'm going to change the font and we'll just make it Arial rounded MT bold. There we go. Now notice Fred is no longer readable. So I, because of that change that I made, I'm going to have to widen the column again to get Fred in there. But this time I don't want to double click. I'm just going to click and drag, just make it go over slightly so that Fred is completely visible. If I want to change the height of a row, I do exactly the same thing as I did with the width of a column. Go between the rows, move down, and now the height has changed, giving me more height to that row. Once I've done that for that particular cell, I go back to the cell, right up here in the alignment group, which is different than what we had in Word. I am right now at the bottom left hand side. I can change that alignment to be left align top or middle or again bottom centered. But notice when I use centered it we lose some words here. So left alignment or right alignment or on the bottom. So there we go. We can you can move things around and we'll see that um, more here as we look at different positions. I can fill color if I want to. That's using the paint can here. Go and fill the color with whatever I want. But notice it's only filling the first cell, not everything. I'm going to select the column titles from Word 1 to Excel 2. And I'm going to give them a little bit of an angled look. Now an angled look is right up here again under alignment, orientation. So I'm going to angle counterclockwise. That's a 45 degree flip movement. And notice that the row automatically widened to compensate for the words on that 45 degree angle. Let's make these bold. I'm going to select the scores now. And what I want to do with the scores here as I have them selected, I want to go up here to the name box and type in grades. You can actually give a name to a region that you select. So anytime I need to select this region, all I have to do is go up to the name box and pick grades. For example, hit the enter. Now that's identified as grades. Go over here to A3, use my pull down, and grades is available for me to click 
and use. You can text wrap words in a cell. For example, what if I wanted to text wrap this CIS 120L gradebook identifier? So text wrap is right up here and it will move it to that sort of look. But what happens? Notice I have to change the row height. I will double click and that will automatically change the row height so that fits. If I don't like that look, I just either click on text wrap again to undo it. Notice my undo is right up here. Undo text wrap is, was the last command. So I can undo that and keep the text wrap so I can undo and undo column, change the text wrap so I can redo over here. But notice these are above the ribbon now and I can move them below if I like them down there better or I can keep them above the ribbon. Either way, you can have them positioned where you like them. One last thing we want to do before we end here is I want to create this title across the top. So I'm going to what's called Merge and Center. That command right there in the Alignment Group. So I click and drag across to select the cells that I want to use for my alignment. I merge and center. So now all six of these cells are merged into one cell and the text has been centered in that cell and then I can do a, it's centered, and then I can do a center vertically. So it centers vertically and I can center it horizontally by the merge and center. So when I click somewhere else, you can see this is all one cell. Notice no lines are showing in that. And so we don't have to use the text wrap for that situation.